What's up YouTube, it's that crawler back up in this piece and today we're going to kick things off with my Asian cinema otaku video series where I talk about the Japanese movies I love in my collection. Without further ado, let's kick things off with The Machine Girl directed by Noboru Iguchi. The very first film of his I ever saw and I was completely hooked. I fell in love with the style of comedy, horror, gore and a dash of sleaze. Yeah, absolutely love it and I also grew to love Asami who also co-stars in this. Just a blast. I also have a pretty badass uh, steelbook edition of this with nice artwork on the front as well as the back. Good stuff. Inside you also have the uh, short film Machine Girl Light as well as a pretty cool bonus feature disc. Which like over an hour making of featurette. Moving on we got Zombie Ass Toilet of the Dead which is just one of my absolute f uh, favorite films of his. Um, you can't beat zombies throwing shit tentacles coming out of assholes and just all around fun yeah this is a total wtf kind of flick but one you want to watch with friends just to see their facial reactions when they watch it for the first time lots of fun next up we have robo geisha and i admit i wasn't a big fan of this one when it first came out when i first picked it up it took multiple views to finally appreciate it for what it is and i just recently saw it again like two months ago and i absolutely loved it like the fifth or fourth time. But uh, yeah, Robo Geisha, lots of fun. Also has a very cool cameo of uh, Hikaru Shida, who's a wrestler in AEW. Yeah, she has a nice little role in this. She plays a Robot Geisha trainee, which I thought was very cool. Next up, we have Karate Robo Zabrogar. Now, this was based on a uh, TV series back in the days on, in Japan. And it's a lot of fun, man. It's a nice little throwback style flick. And uh, yeah, man, I really enjoyed the hell out of this one. Lots of charm as well. Dead Sushi. Now, this one is my favorite Gucci film of all time that I've seen so far. And mostly because it stars Rina Takeda. I absolutely love her, man. She just kicks so much ass, looks super kawaii. And I can't get enough of her, man. Yeah, so much fun, though. Next up, it's Mutant Girl Squad. Now, he didn't direct this movie completely. He also, he's, this is a co-direct uh, co-direct along with uh, Yoshihiro Nishimura and I uh, forgot the other guy. But regardless, Mutant Girl Squad, it's a complete blast. Highly recommend it. His, uh, his part of the film that he directed, it's lots of fun. Uh, you really get to see the powers of Yoshi, who has octopus arms. And Horror Theater. He also contributed a short film in this set right here because it's like a compilation of short films. It's called Snake. And I've only seen it once, but I did enjoy it. But it's like your typical Iguchi film when you watch it. It has a little dash of everything. But yeah, that's going to be it for my Iguchi films. Let's move on to some more directors that I have in the collection. Sion Sono. Now, I don't have many of his films, but I do own Suicide Club. I've only seen this once. I really need to give it another watch. I did enjoy it the very first time I watched it. And I'm very, I'm, I'm looking forward to revisiting this very soon because I want to give Noriko's Dinner Table another chance. Now, I kind of was late to the party on Suicide Club and I watched this first and, you know, I, I wasn't completely lost, but I didn't appreciate it for what it was. So I'll definitely uh, give this one a watch after I watch uh, Suicide Club. Yeah. All right. Uh, my favorite so far of his movies that I've ever seen is Hair Extensions. Absolutely love this one. It's a complete blast. Uh, Shiaki Kuriyama, she's in this. Better known for a role in uh, Kill Bill, I think, Volume 2. Could be mistaken on that volume part. But, um, yeah, she's just awesome in this. As well as the um, the mortician played by Ren o Osugi. Rest in peace. He passed away in 2018. But this one's just complete, off-the-wall, goofy fun. It's a, it's, a, it's a blast. And last for this young, uh, Sion Sono flicks, it's Cold Fish. Oh man, this one's so damn good. Uh, just a total mindfuck. And the last parts of the film, just gore fest, man. Just lots of fun. Gold, cold fish, not goldfish. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Takashi Ishii. We have Gonin. One and two. Now, Takashi Ishii, the films that I have of his are mostly like Yakuza crime gangster flicks. But I think he did dabble in some horror. It's in, in his filmography somewhere along the line but going in one it's a basic yakuza gangster flick and part two it's the same of the as uh, same as part one except all the lead are, are played by female which is just awesome i love girls with guns you know what i mean who doesn't 
All right. Moving on to Takashi Ishii, we have Black Angel. And this is some more of, you know, your Yakuza assassin, girls with guns kind of flick. And I need to give this another go. I've only watched it once. I really enjoyed it the first time. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this very soon. As well as Black Angel 2, which is more of the same old. And another one I need to watch again because I've only seen it once. Got in a box set. So, you know, sometimes when you put those box sets away, you kind of forget to watch those films in there. All right. Finally, for the Takashi Ishii collection, I have Freeze Me, which is an awesome rape revenge flick. Uh, this girl right here, I think her name is Shihiro in the in the film. But she gets raped in, in the past, you know, when she... In, when she's younger and you fast forward in the future she's about to get married and those guys that raped her appear back in her life and she seeks vengeance and what's why it's called freeze me is because she like when she dispatches you know the people who wronged her she chops them up and puts their body parts in freezers that way they don't rot in her apartment it's pretty crazy but really good man really good shit yeah freeze me i've watched that one several times i like that one a lot all right, let's move on. We have some, um, who's this guy right here? Kenta Fukasaku. Yes, Kenta Fukasaku, who did Battle Royale Part 2, you know, took over for his dad. Um, Yo-Yo Girl Cop, it's like your basic modern take on the Sukuban Deca films of uh, the old days and the TV series. But this one's a lots of fun. Really enjoy it. Next up for Kenta Fukasaku, we have Black Rat. Now, this is your basic... Japanese high schoolers off in one another and trying to find out who did it. Uh, and somebody wears a mask, some kind of a, there you go, some kind of a black rat kind of a furry head. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this one is, is, is not too memorable. I've seen it twice. And like I said, it, it's not one of the best films in his filmography by far. But I did enjoy this one, X Cross. I recently revisited this one. I enjoyed it. I say a tad more uh, than the first couple times I watched it, but there's this villainess in here, right here. She carries this giant pair of scissors, and she completely steals the show. Lots of fun, man. And uh, yeah, X-Cross. All right, let's move on to some All Night Long Collection. I want, I want to pronounce the name right, so let me just look on the back and cheat. Katsuya Matsumura. Um, this this series right here, it's up to it goes up to part six. You get the first three in this set, but they are just really deranged, demented, just what the fuck kind of shit. And uh, all night long, the first one, atrocities, the second, the final chapter has grown on me the most. It just it just gets even more bizarre. But if you like some really fucked up shit, I highly recommend you check out the all night long collection by Tokyo Shock. These three films don't disappoint. I can't wait to watch like four, five, and six, but I heard there's no like subs. Maybe there's a fan sub out there somewhere. But anyways, yeah, let's move on, guys. Next up, we have Ryuhei Kitamura. We have Versus. This is the ultimate steelbook set. This one's a lot of fun. I've only seen it once, but I really enjoyed the hell out of it. it hot, hell out of it. I have not caught all the discs, so there's a uh, three in here, I believe. And uh, yeah, just uh. It's one I really need to revisit soon, but of course it stars, um, uh, what's his name? Let me check. Tech Sekiguchi, man. Uh, just an awesome stunt man, uh, fight choreographer. He can do it all. He's in, he's a good looking dude, but yeah, versus lots of fun. Next up for you, Hey Kitamura, we have Sky High. This is one I've seen of, uh, once or twice, well, more than once, maybe twice, but uh, it's not very memorable. I completely like my mind's blank at the moment. But I did pick this up because it stars Yihi Shina, better known for a role in Audition. Uh, yeah, she has a small role in this, but Sky High, it wasn't completely terrible. And finally, we're going to end it, guys, with some Kiyoshi Kurosawa, Kurosawa Pulse. I was very late to the party when it came to watching this movie. Just recently picked it up, like, two or three years ago. But I wasn't disappointed. It was worth the wait. I really enjoyed the atmosphere in this movie. Just really... I remember being grainy and dark, just badass. But yeah, this is one I really need to watch again. I've only seen it once. And finally, for Kiyoshi Kurosawa, we have uh, Doppelganger, which was a really head scratcher of a film, especially the ending. It was like, but it's very intriguing. Watch, man. I really enjoyed the hell out of it.
and definitely one I'd, I'll be more than happy to revisit when I get the chance. Well, that's going to be it, guys, for part one of my Japanese cinema otaku video series. I'll be back very soon with part two because I have a bunch of shit to show you. Peace.